I'm organizing my cabinets and I'm gonna show you my progress. Hey everybody, it's Amanda and today I'm gonna to show you the progress that I've made on organizing my cabinets, specifically my spice cabinet because that was the main thing that I wanted to work on and I should have, but I didn't, take a before shot. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like now and I've only semi-completed one shelf and so you can see what the rest of the cabinet looks like and I'm sure that'll give you an idea of what it looked like before and frankly I have other complete inventory videos from the past because I regularly do inventories and I'll link them at the top if you want to check them out and in some of those videos you can actually see what the spice cabinet looked like before but I looked at it and I was like, I'm on a mission to try to make it more streamlined and more organized, but of course I'm on a budget, so I'm trying to use the things that I have. So basically I took the little tiny spice containers that I had, because I had like a million of them, and I wanted to condense them into some canning jars. Actually I wasn't sure what kind of storage unit I was going to use and I decided that I had a bunch of canning jars, like some random ones, and I was like, I'll try to use up the random ones that I have get labels on them and see what I can do. The label situation, I considered going on Etsy, I considered printing my own, I considered a lot of things, but ultimately the easiest and cheapest way that I still thought looked attractive was this. The ball dissolvable labels. And they actually come with 60 labels in a box, which I thought was, you know, one box would be enough to do my entire spice cabinet. It's, it's more than enough. And this was only a few dollars at Walmart. I'll go ahead and put an Amazon affiliate link if you want to order it if you can't find it at your Walmart. But um, but it was easy to find. It was quick to do. It was very reasonable cost. I already had the jars. So it worked out pretty well. So I'm going to show you what the cabinet looks like now and show you the progress I've made and talk about some additional things that I want to do. So let me just show you what we have going on. Alrighty, so here is my progress. And you can see what those labels look like. Let me get you up close. There's everything bagel, clearly. Now, I didn't, I thought about doing like fancy writing and doing something, you know, amazing with it. But honestly, I'm just not that kind of gal. <laughs> I was just trying to get it on there and looking decent. So let me, let me scoot you back a little bit. And this is the ones that I've done so far. And taking y'all's suggestion, because I asked you how do you organize it, and everybody recommended alphabetical order, I did alphabetize. Look at that, y'all. I did alphabetize the cabinet. So we go all the way from allspice down here to turmeric. And these are just the individual spices. You'll notice over here on the right, I have some seasoning mixes that are still in their individual containers. And that's because some of them I'm just going to use up and probably never purchase again, and I'm going to decide if I'm going to keep the seasonings before I make them their own jar. And these are, like I said, just the regular um, spices, and just you can see the jars are random, but they all use the canning lids, right? So some of the jars, like this one, I don't know if you can see it, it's an atlas jar. Do you see that right there? Atlas. And I think this was like a spaghetti jar or something. I'd actually, what I would love to do, if you guys know where these atlas jars come from, let me know in the comments because what I ended up having to do was this. Buy some quart size mason jars because I don't have very many and I want to keep the ones that I do have for canning. But I needed some larger jars to be able to store some bigger things because up here at the top of the cabinet, you see I have the bigger things I want to store. You know, iodized salt. I need, I need to put some more beans in a jar. Um, I have some brown sugar and things like that that need larger jar space. And these are canning jars, but I really don't want to use the canning jars if I don't have to. Do you know what I'm saying? I'd rather use these Atlas jars, the jelly jars, because I can't use these for, not jelly, I think spaghetti sauce. I can't use them for canning. So if I can buy them and use them at, you know, whatever sauce comes in them and get the double use of using them for storage, I think that would be really great. So let me know if you guys know where I can get those. But for now, I do have some quart-sized mason jars in here that I am using. 
and we're just gonna make use of that. Also, you'll notice that I have these sprinkle lids. I don't know if you guys know this, but these are the lids off of Parmesan cheese, Parmesan sprinkle cheese that you get at the store. And just a tip if you don't know, they fit these regular size uh, lids. So if you have something that you wanna sprinkle, like for instance, I have cinnamon sugar here. Up here I have some onion powder, right? You can just use those sprinkle lids and they work pretty well. You gotta be a little careful because the holes are obviously larger, <laughs> but, but it's still better than taking a spoon and trying to do it. Anyway, that, that works for me. So you'll notice as we go up here, y'all just you can see why I need to organize it so over here I did put this is my um well that's Malane tea but this is onion powder garlic powder these are my salts over here on the side is my pepper and um and here's some more salt so I actually need to put all of these in other jars I actually I was looking for the Himalayan salt for a jar that I could use that I could refill. This one is refillable, but I lost I lost the top for it. And I wanna make sure I have one that has a lid, but it is a nice glass jar and it's very pretty, but I don't know. Anyway, this one, the lid doesn't easily come off. I could get it off, but I'm, I'm really looking for one that I could easily get on and off, has a lid, and I can use for a salt grinder and a pepper grinder. So if you got any ideas for that, let me know as well, and we'll be working on that. So anyway, I'm, all of this is going to be reorganized. I want all of this to look like this, to be organized in jars and beautiful and easy storage. Again, some of these, you can see this one right here, these are old Classico jars. This one actually had this is coriander seed. But this one actually had white pizza sauce and I saved these jars because they were just a really good size. And like I said, I would love to have more of jars like this so I can save my canning jars, which are so hard to find and so expensive right now for actual canning. But these right here don't necessarily use the same lids but these do use the same lids, and I, am, I do have obviously lots of used lids that I could make use of, so I don't think that would be a problem at all. Oh, so many decisions to make. But anyway, this is my progress. I am gonna continue to work on this, and like I said, my goal is to get all of this like this. I actually have another cabinet. She's over here, y'all, where I have some beans and I usually keep my nuts over here. Here's some fruit and nut mix, um, pasta, and I wanna have all of that, you know, organized in this exact same way. I have a bunch of pasta down here that, that I'd like to get into jars and kind of make it look very similar so that, so that really all of my cabinets are uniform. You know, I have actual cans that I get from the grocery store uh, metal cans and ultimately I'd like to be able to grow my garden the things that are in the metal cans and then have canning jars with those items so then pretty much all of my storage would be big beautiful canning jars and I think it would be lovely and it would make me feel amazing <laughs> so, so again part of my goal to get everything switched over and uniform <laughs> but, but I'm like I said I'm also trying to do it on a budget so I'm perfectly fine with it taking a little time maybe buying some pasta sauce and using it over time and you know what I'm saying, you know, but eventually getting the job done. So oh, this is where I'm at right now. And I'm actually very proud of it because I'm doing it in between a million other tasks. And I think when it's all said and done, finally, it's going to be something that I can be very proud of and feel super organized. I feel like it didn't cost a lot of money and just feel better about what I have. So anyway, let me know your thoughts about the organization. I, I value your opinions. I don't expect everything to be, you know, Pinteresty, but, um, but I would like it to be organized. I would like it to be something that's functional. And the, frankly, the spice thing, having them in alphabetical order is a lifesaver because what I used to do, I used to have the baking items together and the herbs together. And, I, and so it was just kind of, I thought it made sense, but it wasn't the right kind of sense. <laughs> and then nobody else could follow it but me and things ended up getting mixed up and it was terrible. Alphabetical, everyone can do. It worked out really well, good suggestion. So anyway, all right, well that's it. I wanted to give you an update and show you where we are on the progress. I'm feeling, like I said, very, very good about it. 
and I think it's going to be good when we're done. <laughs> so anyway, you all have a great day. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.